All right, everyone, welcome back. Got the battery charged. Um, so I didn't go home today. I'm using the same battery here. Um, so I had some time to watch uh, some YouTube and other stuff. I just saw a video. I just saw a video of um, some guy who just got his um, Rip Current S. You know, so um, interesting to watch. Uh, let me get on the bike here. Uh, so, okay, so I says the, if you've seen the last episode here, uh, you know I took a little spill accident and um, my thumb is kind of a little sore. Um, let me get out here. <sighs> Let me turn the battery on here. Where am I on the battery power? Uh, okay, still shows a full bar. There we go, just to get me going. Hmm. So, my thumb does feel a little strained, but I can still move it. It's just, it feels a little strained. I think I was pushing onto the throttle and then it just, the handlebar just turned on me, of course, when I slipped through. And, uh, what else? Um, and what else uh, happened? Um, I mean, just my shoulder. I definitely hit my shoulder. Um, I was just assessing the situation. I actually never hit my face. Never hit the dirt. What happened was my face hit the. <laughs> The smartphone, the gimbal that's attached to the gimbal, so that's what hit me on the lip, and um, I'm all right. It's nothing. It's nothing. It's, it's, it's like I just bit my, uh, I bit my lip. That's pretty much all I did. That's that's what it's equivalent to. I'm just going around here. I got some time. So I'm just going to be riding around. GPS is already up and going. So we turn the, the GPS on. Man, what a beautiful day. See, right here, this is what I'm talking about. I can bring the canoe, or not the canoe, the kayak, right here. And set it down. Set it down and then get in it. Come out. This is pretty big, too. Uh, you've, if you've already seen me, I've already ridden here before. So, but that's the only thing I have is... is my thumb, I didn't watch the video yet. I was just relaxing and charging the, uh, the camera phone. But my, my thumb does feel a little strain right here. I think that's gonna heal up. And my shoulder, my shoulder definitely, I landed on the shoulder as I fell down, but I, I think the vest did give me some cushion. Not a whole lot, but it did, I think the vest did help. So I'm actually pretty glad I got this, this soft body. Uh, so, the soft body armor if you look in the here I'm glad I got the soft body armor um, it, it's come in handy and nothing else is damaged um, not even the gimbal after that spill not even the gimbal or the phone is is damaged so I'm, I'm impressed I'm still wearing my baseball pants the pool is closed um, but it's it's just too sunny right now um, and that's why I'm wearing the baseball pants I'm not in my shorts uh, the UV index is at a 10 or 11, which is extreme. Man, it looks nice, yeah. So I guess I guess I will get that Weeby. Now that I'm, you know, now that I'm thinking, I, I think I will get that Weeby Copilot, and uh, I will use it with my uh, young one, my number two. Take her to school, bring her back from school, stuff like that. And then when it's not being used for, for transport, transporting my young one, I think I can do some retrofitting on it and have it retrofitted for a kayak. Uh, a very small kayak. I'm, I'm planning on getting a kayak, so it's going to be a very small, very small kayak. And uh, it's basically um, just going to retrofit the handlebars on on the co-pilot look at this guy over here I just want to 
I just want to show you this is that's a, that's the a little thing that I was talking about right over there. Let me zoom in. I'm trying to actually see it myself. But there he is right there. You can see that. He's trying to get on it and get on the other side. That's funny. That's kind of cool actually. He's trying to get to uh there's an island right there if you can see it i don't know what's on that island and why he needs to get on it but uh it's a small little island right there for some reason maybe it's buried treasure who knows anyway it's very peaceful very nice out here uh, let's see if i can let me get off the bike i've, I've had enough accidents today to, to last me for some time Okay, so other than being sore, I'm I'm okay. I think uh, a couple days of healing, and I should be fine. I shouldn't have any problems whatsoever, whatsoever, on this. So okay, let's get out of here. I'm gonna ride the bike off. So I got a little bit of time. I'm just gonna ride around and explore. I'll most likely very likely take the, uh, the shortcut here so anyway so yeah my my helmet never hit the ground and my face never hit the ground in that in that I in that falling over the little spill tumble I had but I have to admit the the rad rover the Red Rover took a licking and kept on ticking. Wow, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the Red Rover. I'm not the Red Rover, the Red, the Red Mini. So this is another area that I might also kayak. I'm not going to explore it. Uh, I got uh, just just enough time to just look at it. I was thinking about going to the to the to the sports complex, but actually I don't have enough time. So little sis five, gear seven. All right. So the bike is all right. All right. The bike works fine. I'm just a little sore. I'm sore, I'm sore here. Okay, I think I know what happened when, you see that? Right here on my arm. I think the twist throttle just pushed up against my, right here, and that's why I'm a little sore. Other than that, I'm okay. So I think that's what was causing that little soreness. Uh, let's see how much time I have. I don't have a lot of time, but let's go down this way. Since I'm exploring. Oh, look at the birds fly away. Since I'm in an exploring mood. actually pretty pretty cool for being in the 80s it's very dry not humid so I actually feel very pleasant I can almost feel my feet getting hot because of the Sun the UV rays hitting on my feet but I think my feet are okay they're protected I guess naturally thicker skin on the feet so I 
might go off-roading right over there just a little bit just a little bit not too much so far 24 miles an hour max speed I think uh, I was going 27 so my max speed yeah I was watching a video of a guy who had uh, the rip current s and uh, it, it looks like a fun bike it, has, it definitely has a uh, bigger battery capacity, but I, I don't know, I personally don't know if it's worth that extra money to go a couple miles faster because... Okay. Oh. Let me go down to a lower, lower pedal assist, forgot to do that. So let me change the gear to pedal to gear two. And let's jump this. Okay. Sorry if there was a lot of bouncing around there. There we go. Let's see what side am I going to explore. I'm going to explore this side. So this is probably going to be a road eventually. I'm going to pedal assist two. Here two. Let me go up to gear three, keep up with the pedal assist. Okay, so far it's pretty dry here. Let me stand up. What time it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm surprised the bell didn't ring on me. I've already been out here. I just want to see it coming from that way. Actually, no. <laughs> I've been out here, but unfortunately, you all couldn't see. You all couldn't see the ride. Oh, yeah, that's right. Or no, no, I, no, no. You, you've seen it. I made a video on this. Yeah, it's still pretty dry over there to cross over. But I can cross over over on the other side when I get up there. Okay, I just wanted to come out here and take a look. Just take a little ride. I'm actually just trying to kill some time before I head to the fitness center. Yep, there it goes. I knew it would hit. All right, I guess let's go. Let's just go, I'll go through, I'll go through the shortcut. I love that shortcut. It takes me to another lake or a big body of water. I could take my kayak in secrecy too, go fishing there, have a, have a place all to myself. Man, I gotta, I have to admit, I'm, I feel like, I feel so spoiled being here because I'm getting a lot of amenities. Our neighbors, uh, the one to, if you're facing my house, the two left of me, uh, I've known them since, I've known them since uh, I moved in. I moved here from California, which is over, over 10 years now. They're, they're both moving. Uh, unfortunately, their complaint is that, uh, you know, the association fees are too high. Um, and to some degree, yes, because when I first came here, the fees were about 750 Now they're about just a little bit over 1000 maybe even 1100 But since then, they've added three more pools, sports complex, 
Um, and what else have they done? Second Fitness Center, they upgraded the original Fitness Center. The original Fitness Center was just a bunch of dumbbells, just, just free weights and some machines. Now they got all this stuff. Their, their complaint is that they don't, they pay a lot, but they don't get to use all that. And I don't, I don't blame them because in a lot of ways, they don't. They're too busy working, <laughs> unfortunately. We're too busy working. Okay, I'm down one battery bar. I'm out to, uh, now I haven't gone home. There's not a fresh bank of battery. So this is still the same battery. So yeah, you know, that's kind of, unfortunately that's, that's the situation everybody's in. You know, everyone's working don't have the time to enjoy their life so they're moving somewhere else I think with lower with no with no homeowners association fee probably not a master plan community and uh, I think they want more more leeway in what they can do with the house so here if you want something done you have to get it approved otherwise the house you have is what you got you can work on your backyard you can do stuff in the backyard, you just can't work on the house, you know, you can't add, you know, I don't know, a balcony if there was no balcony to begin with, and if you do, you have to get it approved, so, that's the thing about working or living in a master plan community, is that you kind of have to uh, stick with, for the most part, what you got, other than repair work, which you don't need a an approval so you know so they're moving away a lot of people have moved away we're one of the few or I am me and my family are one of the few families that are actually still there a lot of people have come and gone in a lot of ways they've they've moved up in their house now I guess I, that's good for them. For me, I, I don't want to move up. The problem with moving up, right? Like moving up in value, like they got, they probably moved into a more expensive home, is that you have to pay more in taxes. The reason why I live in that little, that area is because, man, the houses were very inexpensive, but I looked at the community as a whole, it's a great community, in my opinion, anyway. And so, the other thing they were complaining about was redistrict, redistricting the school. I don't know how much that plays into their decision. I mean, I wouldn't move. I wouldn't. I wouldn't move my sell my house and move into another house because my kid couldn't go to a certain school. Uh, you know. That's just me, though. That's just me. So, okay, maximum speed, 26 miles an hour. Just me pedaling. Uh, right now, I'm just going 21, 22 miles an hour, which is fine by me. Oh, and I'm just enjoying the ride. been outside the house all this time I haven't gone to the house really enjoying riding around in the lazy days lazy summer days people Man, 
and it is really bright out here today. Ooh. I have to admit, it is really bright out here today. UV re index is 10 or 11. That's extreme. That's why I'm all covered up. Got the baseball pants on. No socks today. Barefoot in my Crocs. So yeah, it's very, it's very cool. All right, brakes are working good. All right, here's where I go off-roading. Let me gear down. Pedal assist three. All right, here's where I'm gonna throttle. I'm just throttling right here, right now. Oh yeah. I'm enjoying that throttle. Let me slow down here. Slow down. Oh. Like here's another area where I can probably kayak as well. And do it in relatively, you know, private and peacefully. Uh, just really enjoy myself for the most part. Oh, I see something move. It's either a turtle or a crocodile. Alligator maybe. No, alligator. Out here it's called alligator. Crocodiles are somewhere else. Anyways. Uh, Okay, no rush here. Just enjoying the ride. A lot of things, just a lot of things for me to do. A lot of things for me to do. Enjoying my time out here. Plus there's going to the pool. Man, and they got showers at the fitness center. Let me see, they got showers at the, the newer pool and the new fitness center. So, go fishing, biking all day, and then go out and just, uh, for the most part, take a shower, head on back home. What a day. I don't have to drive. I don't have to drive that far. Actually, I don't even have to drive at all. If you think about it, I don't have to drive at all.
throttle it. What time is it? All right. Made it, made it in, in a very fashionable, good time. Man, really enjoying this ride. Oh yeah, really enjoying this ride. So what else I was gonna I was gonna work out my back, that's right. Work out the backs, the lats, the laterals, and whatever other muscles out there. Uh, Alright, let's take a look at the uh, the odometer or the speedometer. Okay. Let's have a look here. It's uh, 5.8 miles, uh, 26 miles per hour is the maximum speed, about 30 minutes. So that's what I got going on right here. There we go. Anyways, uh, if you all enjoy this, feel free to like, dislike, uh, leave a comment or even do a video response. Until next time, everyone, stay tuned. Bye.